Hey, how you guys doing? This is Chris, and that is Angela, and this is the Spice O Life. All right, guys. So as you can probably tell from the title, looks like Will Smith put out an apology and just wanted to get everybody's thoughts. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments, but we just thought, me and Angela just thought that was pretty interesting. Sometimes you wonder why and the timing, and I think... Um, just from looking at the whole situation, obviously um, there was something going on that triggered that for Chris Rock. But before we get deep into that, uh, Angela, you got a couple of things you want to talk about and mention. Yes, a few important things, guys. So uh, we would love for you guys to follow us on our social media platforms. We have a podcast on Podbean. Spotify, Apple, Google. We have several more some <laughs> more podcast listings as well. We're going to put it in the description if available. Also, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, and also TikTok. Yeah, so if they're not there immediately, they eventually will be there. So that doesn't mean they're right there right now. Yeah. But that's the goal. So just a little patience and time. But yeah, guys, we're out there. So um get right into it angela so yeah will smith mm -hmm. said an apology mm -hmm. and of course he's the kind of guy that probably wants to have things really scripted yes and make sure everything's nice and organized but that may that doesn't mean that the p apology wasn't sincere and that's probably the thing did he mean it was it him trying to get you know mm -hmm. chris rock to say something or respond mm -hmm. Because that was one of the first thoughts that came to my mind was he he said he reached out to him. Mm -hmm. So if he reached out to him and then he said, Chris Rock said, well, hey, I'll, um, are his people. Because it sounded like yes. he, that's what he wanted everybody to know. He yes. didn't talk to Chris Rock. And letting y'all know somebody, Chris Rock, the people behind Chris Rock all around him said, mm -hmm. hey, he'll get with you. Right now he's not ready. Exactly. Because Chris Rock, from what I was told, Chris Rock has been stepping out and saying some things. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's correct. So basically one of the things that you did mention is if that apology was sincere. So we know if it was you or I or anybody else personally for an apology, for you to accept an apology, you want that apology to seem sincere. So the question is, do you think the apology was sincere? Or because one of the things that that you mentioned about uh, Chris Rock's people, that's who uh, got back to Will when he when he was asked, you know, if he apologized to Chris, he said his people told him that he, he said that he would get back with you, which means that Chris Rock was going to get back to Will Smith in regards to, you know, talking to him in regards to the apology when he's ready. They said he wasn't ready that he will contact him hmm, yeah um also too just that's what we're going to kind of dive dive into as far as some of the things will smith i wish we had some clips to show you guys but basically will smith said the first part i can't try to remember he said uh, it was like he they had questions pre one or two pre-questions and I cannot recall exactly how the question went, but it was basically him just responding to that question about, um, I remember one of them, I think it was the second question, and I'm so sorry guys that we don't have that where you can look at it or hear it or anything, but we will, yeah. you know, we'll do that next time. Um, but it was one related to his wife, and they asked him, did she say something to him? Yeah. And of course, everybody knows that she didn't say nothing to him. So I don't even know why that question was asked, but yeah. he responded to it as though that was some question on everybody's mind. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is that the question that should have been asked is when she gave that look, is yeah. that what made you jump up <laughs> and, and, and do exactly. that uh, march? Yeah. That, 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 that march. And, yeah. And that march, even, even when he was walking up there, man, it just, <laughs> you know, I don't know. What yeah. I would call that the death stare. <laughs> She was like, I mean, everybody's seen how she looked. Well, her eyes kind of rolled. Yeah. I, I do remember. Yes. That. I don't she know. She wasn't happy with that. That's joke. the thing. Did she even? Uh, the cameras moved around so fast, so I don't uh -huh. know if she looked at him 
But the one thing that it seemed is after he laughed at what Chris Rock said, and you don't know, it could have been a fake laugh, yeah. real laugh, yeah. whatever. He maybe in this left <laughs> peripheral saw the eye roll that his wife did or just knew that she did like wasn't feeling that. Yeah. Um, and that's another thing I was thinking about. You never mm-hmm. know what conversations they had that's true. as a couple. So it's not like that is the trigger and that's the first time she, she's seen, you know, her disdain for something someone didn't like or Chris Rock in particular. Yeah. So I think, and again, this is all when you start getting into guessing, maybe there was already some stuff behind the scenes about that because they did do a movie together, That's animation true. together. And I'm sure she's like, true. I was tired of Chris Rock and his jokes and picking on me. And could have been all kind of like that. And Will Smith probably mm-hmm. took it personal, so on and so forth. So that could be. Well, fun. she did say something about some alopecia, but. <laughs> Alla who? But alopecia. I well, of course, the the joke was about I think Chris made some type of GI Jane joke about her, but basically, I would say this. Chris Rock, not Chris Graves, not me. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't this Chris. All right. All right. So basically, this is you. We want to give our our take on what what we think in, in regards to that apology that we we heard was was that yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So, so what's your take? So my take is this. Um, First of all, back in March, I think March is when this happened, when he tried to reach out to Chris and Chris said that, well, he got his feedback was, hey, um, he's not ready to talk yet. He'll reach out to you when he's ready. I think that this apology, he should come, should have came out at that time when Chris is ready. Not apologize, not, I mean, even though he's sorry and he's sincere, he should out of respect wait until Chris was ready for this because today we hear the response it was not uh it was Chris's response to Will's apology was not anything that was positive he still has issues <laughs> so I really think that there should be should have been a some conversation there should have been a little bit more I'm sorry, little bitty. A little bit more patience in regards to Will coming out and saying that even though he is sorry, I mean, the apology seems sincere. But I think that because a lot of things has happened, I think he got a lot of things on the plate in regards to these movies and stuff. And maybe it's some stuff that's on hold or whatever, but he just probably wanted to get it over with. But Chris is not ready. And you got to think of this about this too, that what happened was huge i mean it was the punch or slap that was heard around the world you know everybody heard about and it is it is i mean when you saw it i mean i became embarrassed i felt very sorry for chris rock i mean i felt really bad for him because he that's his job he's a comedian so it's like you know come on now you you gotta expect that out of him that's that's what he does you know you expect i expect chris rock to sell joke when he's up there (laughs) so i just really think that he should have waited and just did this did this on chris terms you know he said that he wasn't ready and that he would reach out when he was so that is my um my take on it and i really think that I do think Will is sincere. I think that he's really kind of got beat up already in regards to, you know, the public and the media and all this other stuff. But I really think that this should have waited a little bit longer. Yeah, so this is my take on the apology. I believe that how he worded it, if you listen closely to it, he is. So again, I wish I could see it, but I, he's mm-hmm. sorry he said it how he said it, but whatever happened, he's sorry about the mess. But I go back to what when this originally all started. There's something more there to it that we just don't know about. He could have had some running with Chris and maybe joking because you can never tell. Sometimes brother Will Smith is is serious and joking sometimes because he is an actor. Um, but he could have told them in one passing, like, "Hey man, next time I'm telling you next time." And Chris Rock be like, "All right, bro, I got you." And Chris Rock thought nothing about it. it could have been something I was mentioned a few months ago, a year ago, and backstage, whatever. And Chris Rock go out there and do his job, do what he's paid to do and do what he makes a living at. 
and Will Smith was serious about what he said. Now I'm just giving uh, these are just me giving theories. I'm not I don't I wasn't privy to any inside information. Again, another scenario could have been him. You know, one one time his wife was in the middle of um filming that animation, came home probably upset one day and and really really emotional. And he was there and he saw it and, and maybe that connected. So it's a it it doesn't make sense that that just that is the beginning of that. Like that happened out of the blue because even when he apologized with that five, I think it's a little over five minute apology, it was never specifically saying, man, I, ne- I should have never put my hands on this guy. He didn't deserve that. Me also yelling and telling him to keep my name. That's really a clue. When he said that, keep my wife's name out your mouth, that's, that's a clue. That's something that, like a sound like they've had some kind of conversation in regards to that before. I don't think that was the first time that was brought up now it maybe wasn't brought up to this level and may, again and i'm not making excuses either way but maybe chris rock didn't think much about it because this man knows this is what he does for a living that's like telling somebody hey man don't act again um will smith because will smith is an actor that's what he do yes. telling a comedian not to say this that and the third or keep some specific person's mm-hmm. name out their mouth is it's pretty tough request for professional comedian. That's true. In fact, what it does, it would if they know if he knows comedians well, it an exacerbated situation. Yeah. Not only is he gonna mention it, almost half if not all comedians gonna mention it, which is what kinda happened. Yeah, I think he made the situation worse. So just to sum it, <laughs> yeah. I be, I believe the p- apology because mm-hmm. it was him. That yep. wasn't an apology that somebody said, Hey, here's your apology. He wanted to say it how he wanted to say it. And so him saying it how he wanted to say it. It's basically I got hey I don't want to this was a mess and I'm not saying it's the way it went down and how it all went through I'm not okay with it I'm not saying I'm justified in it because he he now that all emotions just went away and all the smoke is cleared he see how insane that was but it doesn't sound like he take back how he felt and his emotions and all those things and he thought that by doing this and these things going down that way. He didn't think that people would see it that way because he's in the moment. Now that he's had time to jump back from it, he see all the response from it. Sometimes when we are in the in who we are as a human, he's just he, in his mind he's Will Smith. For so, for for some moments we do forget that he don't for, he sometimes can slip down. I'm Will Smith with over one million followers, or hundred million followers, or mm-hmm. two hundred million followers, and and I'm an actor and I'm I'm an influence of people some kind of way. All those things don't stick with you every moment of your life. Hum, hum, humanity kicked in, imperfection kicked in, and he made a decision that he's now like having a reel from, and he'll be fine. I mean he's accumulated wealth and he's he's good at what he do. This is a bump in the road. Yeah, I totally agree. And also with all the other people that were influ- well, that were affected, not influenced, affected by this. Um, he apologized to his mother, mm-hmm. um, to his brother, um, yeah. and to his wife and kids. I mean, that's a huge thing, you know. And plus also he apologized to Quest Love because, you know, Chris was up there presenting that Oscar to him. But you got to think, too, that when you're you're talking about violence, (laughs) I mean, you assaulted someone. And, of course, everybody, there was a great debate in regards to whether he should have been arrested right away or whatever. There was so much going on in that in, you know, within that time frame. But I really, really think that even though he is sorry that's something that you can't take back you know so things are not going to be the same but for me i really want to see those two um men things i know it's not going to be the same but you know for things to because they were obviously close at one point they were close um but it's like what you know what can be done to to mend this you know if will is really sorry for what he's done and it could be chris like hey there's nothing you can do you hurt me man i mean you know chris was silent for a few few weeks so it's like he obviously was definitely hurt and just think about the embarrassment of that and that's something that he's not gonna nobody's gonna ever forget that's I mean, that's going down in history books. But at the same time, it's like, 
how can it well we can say everybody how can because we watched it everybody watched it on tv how can we how can all of us get past this <laughs> and just move on and just let things you know you know you know people have the consequences of you know dealing with things after they've done it you know so how can this be something that could you know yeah that's a good question what i was going to what i was thinking about because i know it's going to was transitioning yes. what we did talk um is what i noticed this kind of clicked in my head is that when this all kind of went down chris rock can pretty much continued on he didn't cancel nothing mm-hmm. he stayed you know if he's in the limelight he was in the limelight now he's not granting a bunch of interviews and all that but he continued on with his comedy tour he didn't shy away from getting take care of business whereas will smith kind of disappeared for a minute and he stepped away now there's two two reasons that i looked at he stepped away just to, you know for all the smoke to clear are and it could be both an uh, added reason or w- the other reason is to do a self check. Yeah. And the reality is that if we're tr- true and honest with ourselves, we all have to do that. Mm-hmm. Brother, if something happened towards us, or some that brother was a transgression towards another, we have to check ourselves. We have to check in with our own minds and do a mental self check. And I'm not saying you have to do that if you're crazy or if you got this issue or whatever. But as a human being, if we're really honest with ourselves, we always have to be aware of how we're thinking, how we feel, why we feel this way, why we think that way, why we did this, why we're not doing that, so on and so forth. And so that could have been a a part of the reason. I I would love to have asked Will Smith, like, what was the reasons or what made him say, hey, I'm going to go to this country. I'm going to go take this move and I'm going to take a break from my, from the limelight or from my family or from whatever this thing is and do this was it yeah. just for your mental you know what i'm saying was it just for to be out of the limelight or what i think it was both i think it was all the above and i think also the fact that i think he went to india or whatever wherever he went it was for like a self-improvement type thing you know for him to you know, uh, what do you call it when people go uh, sabbatical? <laughs> Walk about? That's what it um, is. Yeah. Rehab or whatever you call it. <laughs> um, so he actually went there to, to do something to, to help him to try to figure out, you know, maybe he was probably wondering, well, why did I do it? Do that? You know, why did I allow myself? to you know come out of element because actually that's out of his element we've never seen him like that you know when i saw that i didn't know who i was looking at because <laughs> that's not the the person that we you know that we're used to you know seeing will smith is a very positive person you know not he only that, like, he's positive but he's good at not it, i'm sure he's not perfect but he's using to keeping that part of himself not on camera exactly you know i could you know he could have took care of that behind stage, even if that, well, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that's it's over and done. Yeah, Things so have been I, done. I, said. I think he wants to expedite. That's why yes, he sent this yes. out. It, hey, because you think about you, Will Smith. So somebody said, nah, he ain't going to talk to you right now. He's trying. It, it's, it is a frustrating feeling. Say, for instance, when you, you make a mistake, yeah. you know, and then we, we make a mistake and we actually admit we make the mistake, right? Mm-hmm. Then we want to make it right. So we're like, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes you can't just, yeah, you may be sorry, but you can't just, it not, it, unfortunately, no matter who you can be, Will Smith, president, whoever you are, it ain't just going to work like that. It's right. not going to always work the way. So that can be conf- frustrating because that situation now is not in his control. That's true. He has no control over how, when and how that's going to happen. So what he decided, one thing I can't control is let everybody know what Will Smith did. And how I feel about it at this moment and what Chris Rock team has said to me. And that's what he decided to do. I don't know how long ago that transaction was, but I think he wanted to apologize or at least get it out there. But he was frustrated about the fact that that wasn't moving forward with him because he's a probably person used to getting things done and moving things forward. And if you think about it, too, if he's if he went away for help and if he's let's say if he's gotten help. 
he, you're right. He want to put put that behind him. He wanted to hurry up and get that because he probably want to hear. I want to know whether Chris forgives him. That probably would help. Think about it. If you've done some something to someone, and you, you know, you're trying to get past it, you would really want to know whether they forgive you or not. You know, you want to get past it. You're sorry, especially if you're really sorry. So that may be a sign that he is sorry he's deeply sorry for, for what's happened and he wants to get past it and he wants for both of them both of them to move on so and w when you talk about self-care and mental health that is a step in the right direction yeah but he does feel some kind of way that i do know about what you know his initial reasons for that because his and we're listening to what he said and remember what he said he said that's not how he basically should have handled that. Like right. that, he's not saying that he's justified right in how he handled it. He didn't say, you know what, that wasn't even worth me ever doing. I should have never, even, you know, it wasn't that big a deal. He didn't say none of that part. He just basically, which is, hey, he has a right to say. He he's basically saying, hey, how I did that? Was messy. I'm not even trying to justify at this point. And back then, when I didn't say that initially, because I was all in a mental fog. I can't speak on why. I mean, I was somewhere yeah. else so he's admitting that something went on within his mind that he can't even when somebody tell you they was in a fog and i know the man wasn't sitting there on drugs so obviously he's saying i was in a fog that he was in such a space our head space that he cannot clearly recollect that whole day or that situation because it was just like boom 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 stuff going on and you about to be nominated you got a chance to win something on the highest level so on and so forth Your wife right there laughing emotions a billion things and 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 it was just he cannot clearly say that's the way i'm seeing he just couldn't clearly say what it was and i would have to respect that some people may say fog what are you talking about what is the fog <laughs> no fog ran through the building yeah. you don't remember seeing a yeah. fog did you see a fog in the building exactly so, oh yeah but no he's talking about within his own mind and mm -hmm. so that comes back to the mental health thing that i totally agree with you on that you would never know what he's dealing with you know personally but also the fact that you know now it's like you've done something and think about this guys think about this if you got things going on with you and you you know you really need to you know find ways to the you know to, to take control back you know thinking irrationally and saying things could hurt folks you know think about you know and at the moment when you talk about anger when you upset you know someone calls your name or they do something to you yeah and you're very mad and upset mm -hmm. and you want some oh man the automatic thing is if you're reacting without thinking you need to do some self-care you need to get some help <laughs> because that's not a normal way you know to handle things that's not how you handle things mm -hmm. so and anger is not uh it's not one of those things that you know think about what anger does when you upset think about what it does to the body that's not good for the body i mean you, people can get sick just being angry it has some negative effects on the body so and definitely negative effects if somebody hit you too that that's hurt <laughs> You yeah, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah. we have to be careful and we have to know ourselves. Don't get pushed to the limit, you know, not get pushed to the limit. Well, it's just again, it comes back to really knowing yourself because getting pushed to the limit is relative, like something that normally may not even push a person to a limit for some reason. That specific day it does. But if we are aware of where we are in our feelings, if we're honest, not only can we prevent that, what Angela just said about these limits we hit, but we also can know how to say, okay, this is going to be how I'm going to take care of it. Like she said, self-care. So this is like what I'm going to do. And it may be something beyond what you can just do that day. It may be something, okay, I need to make an appointment. Yes. Or I may say, you know, I need to take some, I need to take some vitamins or I need to do something. I need to take whatever I'm prescribed to do or go and get and have a conversation. But the main thing is start being, oh, man, I'm feeling, why am I feeling this stress coming from somewhere? Yeah. Why am I getting angry? Why was I angry an hour ago and it hadn't changed today yet? See, all those things should start thinking where, you know what, well, at this moment, 
it may not be best for me to start going and interacting with somebody if I'm in this emotional state. And here's the funny thing. Sometimes people can feel that way and then feel a need to go interact while they're in this emotional state. And then that's when we have some problems. Yes, I totally agree. So also, I was going to say, too, MR, that MR. the best. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. I don't know what you said. But anyway, also, to just leave the best thing to do is leave get out of that situation just leave if you know that you're about to you know you know do something that's not you know it's just like in will's situation if he had just left cooled off right instead of marching towards chris yeah. he got up and be like <laughs> yeah he did get, get up, up yeah go to the left yeah past alopecia jada yeah so I just, think that just, probably, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do, you know. And he, most active, they say, <laughs> and this, they'll say, man, it comes time. Yeah. You know, he would give him some good advice. And then all of that great advice could have came before. Yeah. popped out of doing the thing. Um, yeah. There was a guy that made a great point, um, Dr. Richard. He was like, um, if it, we all know, if it was different scenarios, would that happen? And we can't imagine it happen. Like, let's say, for instance, I can't imagine him making this joke, but let's say, for instance, Tom Hanks was up there and said, all right, see you in G.I. Jane. And Will Smith would have been like, <laughs> and probably looked at him. <laughs> but he wouldn't have got up there. A couple. Yes. Of, there's a million reasons why, but it could go back to what I was saying earlier. They don't have maybe some kind of undercover negative history of anything that we're aware of or not unaware of. Yes. That's why I can't. There's nothing... If one day Will Smith tells me, you know what, I ain't never had no conversation with Chris Rock like that, man. We are buddies. We always had great conversations. I cannot explain. We, there was never a hint. And Chris Rock knows and I know there's never a If he said something like that, I would be blown away mm -hmm. because there had to have been something previous. Like, this is not, you guys know, usually when you see something, there was already a precursor to something. Yeah. You know, like if you like ants, I'm gonna use ants. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what other critter we can use. You know, some y'all know about that. I don't mm -hmm. know about it, but let's see. If you see an ant, more than likely there's some ant somewhere. If you see an ant, yeah, here or there, they're like, oh, okay, they're somewhere. <laughs> so that situation is a precursor or was a happen, but it's something somewhere, and all of it stems from emotions and everything, and not being so aware of your thinking and yourself that you never checked it. And then it just built up to what we saw. We just saw the volcano come out with some lava. Yeah. That's all we saw. We didn't see what was going on under there. Yes. Yeah. I totally agree. And Jada could have said something. Well, she got... Not, he, not she then, didn't though. Have not to, right then. Like I'm saying, back in the past. She, Yeah, you're right. But she gave that look. <laughs> well, was, I mean, if, she if, gave if, that look, if those said. eyes had... If you could have added sound effects to those eyes, it would have been like... Mm -hmm. Cause they rolled so hard, they're like. Whoa, whoa. I think she was like, like, "Oh boy, oh here we go, here, here we, we go. go." And I'm sure she was like, "Well, <laughs> I, I was rolling, but I mean, come on, well, I didn't uh -huh. mean, you know." She was even shocked by that. Like, I don't think she saw that coming. I don't think so either. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, guys, yeah, that's really the connection that we had. It's like mm -hmm. this is that he really just wants things to move forward. I don't know that they're buddies. For, for, there's something there. And it could have just... And, and the issue could... Here's another theory. I'm just giving you another theory. The issue could just be between him and Chris. Jada could have been fine. Jada could have been like, man, when, when I worked with Chris Rock, we had a great experience. It was fun. Yeah. I told Will all about it when I got... Nah, well, that could have been all the problem. You told Will all about all the great times you had with Chris Rock. And you know how he... You know, Even though they said all this stuff is open, which is <laughs> strange within <laughs> itself... The um, main thing is that you never know what impact the conversation. Again, I'm not trying to blame her, but I'm saying we never. Angela, know if Angela has a conversation with me about something that's in, that affected her, positive or negative, no matter what she thinks or whatever, I'm still going to have some kind of feelings about it, good or bad. It doesn't matter. She may not ever know it. She may know it. I don't know. So that's one thing we forget. If I'm going around saying something positive or negative, good or bad about another man or woman, Angela's going to have her th own thoughts about it. I may or may not hear about it, but that's how it works in a relationship. Yes, Chris, I totally agree. Yeah. So anyway, guys, this has been very enlightening for me, uh, for Angela, I think. Was it? Yes, it's very enlightening. Did you receive some 
insight from the spice. Oh, oh. Yeah, life. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, 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 we could go on forever. Yes, we could. We I could. feel I should stop. So far, yeah. half and I'll see you at the top. And I think it's good to touch on the mental health thing because I think our reactions lets us know where we are mentally. And that there is yeah, some tuning up that needs to be done. We need to do it. Get the help we need it, if needed. And also um, making sure that we make amends for things that we've done that are, you know, that offend anyone, you know? Yeah. Yeah, guys. So, again, we, we may do a part to this. I don't know. Yeah. But, guys, take care of yourselves. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. And we just want to thank you for being a part of this spice old life. Old life. With Chris and Angela. We'll talk to you next time. Have a good night. Good night. Our day. Our day. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.